वंदे गुरुपद्वंद भक्त बिंद समीचैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंदसहोदित श्री नंद नंदन वंदे राधिका चरणद गोपीजन सामुक्त बिंदवनम मनोहर वाछा कल्पतरुश के पास सिंधु व्यवच पति पावने भवैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम मुकं करोति वाचा लंग पंगु लंघयत गिरी यत्की पातमहंग बंदे परमानंदमाधव बृंदा वो तुलसी देव वै पिया वै केशव सच कृष्ण भक्ति पदे देवी सत्वत्त नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरुच नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मुदीर संकीर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पत्र प्रकाशनी च सदानुरक्त गुरु भक्ति युक्त भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोदर ध्येय सदा परिभवग्नमिष्टदूहम तीर्थास्पद शिव विरिंचनुत शरण्यम धीताहम पुनुतवालभवादीपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरुनाद यत्दपल्लवनकंदमनीय विस्फुर्जी गमी गोपवधुष्वदर्श पूर्णागरसागर सारूर्ति साराधि कामयी कदा कृपाकृष्णचैतन्य प्रभुनीतानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवसदी गौरभक्तबिंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनीतानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवसदी गौरभक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे आजानुलंबित भुज कनकाबदा तो संकीर्तन कवितर कमलायुताक्ष भीशाबरो द्विजरो युगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणावतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे अजानुलंबित भुज कनकाबदा तो संकीर्तन कवितर कमलायताक्ष भीशाबरो द्विजरो युगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणावतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमा गंगे तव पादपंकज सुरासुरबंदि दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दी नित्वान्ूपेन्न सदा नरण गंगातरंगरमणीय जटाकलाप गौरी निरंतर विभूषित तो बाम भाग नारायण प्रियमनंगमदापहारम 
वाराणसी पुरपति भज विश्वनाथ वागीशजुष्व बदने लक्ष्मीजस्व च वक्षसी जस्ति हृदय संबीतम भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे कृष्ण कीर्तन गान नर्तन कला पथोजनी व्राजिता सदभक्ता बलि हंस चक्र मधुप सैनी विहारास्पद कर्णानंदी कल धनिर्वह तुमे युवा मरु प्रांगणे श्री चैतन्य दयानिधे तबल सद लीला सुधा स्वर्धुनि गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत तो सरस्वती गोस्वामी प्रभुपा परमश जगदगुरु सेट दैट आवर टार्गेट इज टू बिकम अ डस्ट पार्टिकल फ्रॉम द लोटस फीट ऑफ श्री रूप गोस्वी पात वी गौरियस इट इज आवर अल्टीमेट गोल टू बिकम अ डस्ट पार्टिकल फ्रॉम द लोटस फीट ऑफ श्री रूप गोस्वी पात शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वी प्रभुपा परमंस जगदगुरु सेट दैट व्हाट एवर रूप गोस्वी पाथ गिविंग आस इफ वी आर गोइंग टू इग्नोर रूप गोस्वी पाथ एंड डूइंग टू डू समथिंग स्पेशल देन ऑल योर एफर्ट यूजलेस बिकम यूजलेस If we are going to ignore Rupa Goswami Path, whatever we are getting from Sri Rupa Goswami Path, if we are going to ignore Rupa Goswami Path and going to do something special, new, in that case we can fall down. We cannot stand. Sri Rupa speaking, Rupa Goswami Path was given. complete kipa by silo by goranga mahaprabhu gorang mahaprabhu wanted to give full kipa to rupa goshi pad goranga mahaprabhu wanted to give full kipa to rupa goshi pad full kipa mean all the teachings whatever chaitanya mahaprabhu wanted to teach the whole world whatever Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to teach the whole world about rasa tatva everything. He wanted to give it to Rupa Goswami Path. Popa speaking, if you are very much interested, if you are very much interested to get the, all the exact teachings of Goranga Mahaprabhu through Rupa Goswami Path, then you will have to ignore all sahajya. those who are against rupa goshi path those who are sahaji i will have to ignore them and you will have to follow bhakti vinod thakur exactly bhakti vinod thakur is the topmost rupanugobar rupanugobar mean bhakti vinod thakur prabhu was speaking bhakti vinod thakur is the topmost rupanugobar so if you like to get exact siddhant which are exact the teachings of chaitanya mahaprabhu then you will have to understand the teachings of bhakti vinod dhara you will have to understand the exact teachings of bhakti vinod thaka dhara if you are going to take resolution that if you are going to take resolution that you are you, are, you have no desire for asa sanga then you will have to follow rupa goshim you will have to follow sila bhakti vinod thakur and you will have to try to understand the difference between basic difference between bhakti vinod thara and non bhakti vinod thara popa speaking if you are really interested to build up your life 
if you are really interested to build up your life according to the instruction of Rupa Goswami, then you will have to follow Bhakti Vinod Dara exactly, and you will have to try to understand the basic difference between Bhakti Vinod Dara and non Bhakti Vinod Dara. If you can try to understand the basic difference between Bhakti Vinod Dara and non Bhakti Vinod Dara, this is called exact satsanga. This is called exact satsanga to try to understand the basic difference between Bhakti Vinod Dara and non Bhakti Vinod Dara. This is called exact satsanga. If you can do this kind of satsanga, then surely you are not going to register your name in the book of those Sahaja. In that case, surely you need not go to join Sahajiya party to register your name in their book. This way you will have to do. Actually, about Rupa Goswami Pad, we know that Priyo Sarupe Doito Sarupe Prem Sarupe Sahajabi Rupe Nijanu Rupe Pabureko Rupe Tatanu Rupe Savilasu Rupe this is the only Siddhanta Vichar of Chaitanya Charita Mitra. Here actually, this Siddhanta Vichar is very secret Siddhanta Vichar. I mean, whatever Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wants to do, I mean, the, what is the desire of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that is coming in the form of Rupa Goswami all the desire of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to do, is exactly there in Rupa Goswami Path. And the Prem Sarupa Gauranga Mahaprabhu taking the form of Rupa Goswami Path. All personal activities, desire, everything is equal to, I mean, Rupa Goswami Path is equal to Gauranga Mahaprabhu, same. Totally harmonized. I mean, Rupa Goswami Pad is totally harmonized with the heart of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Completely harmonized with Gauranga Mahaprabhu. There is no scope. And Rupa Goswami Pad, this Sarup, is a very dear to Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Gauranga Mahaprabhu, like this Rupa, Gauranga Mahaprabhu like this Rupa of Rupa Goswami Pad. I mean the beauties of Rupa Goswami Pad is a topmost thing. Why we all Gauriyas, why we all Gauriyas want to become a dust particle from the lotus feet of Rupa Goswami Pad? Rupa Manjuri, the beauties of Rupa Manjuri is very attractive to Krishna. We know Krishna is all attractive. In infinity world, Sri Krishna is the only objective of attraction. We know Bhagavan Sri Krishna is the only objective, object of attraction all over the infinity world. Prakit or Prakit Jagat both. But that Krishna feeling attraction of Radharani, Radharani. And those who are the Sakhi Manjaris of Radharani, Bhagavan Sikh is no feeling attraction for them. Because those Sakhi Manjaris, they are non different from Radharani. Sakhi Manjaris, they are non different from Radharani. I mean, Radharani going to Kayabhuho, manifest, you know, expand his Kayabhuho to serve Krishna in all different way. So in this way, Rupa Goswami Pad has some speciality. I mean the beauties of Rupa Goswami Pad, by watching the beauties of Rupa Goswami Pad, by watching the beauties of Rupa Manjari, Bhagavan Sri Krishna feeling tremendous attraction. Tremendous attraction, Krishna feeling. Why? We Gauriyas, we should understand this point. 
we should understand this point why bhagwan sri krishna feeling this kind of tremendous attraction by watching rupa goshim path it is called seva sarup by watching the seva sarup or rupa goshim rupa goshim path is beautiful rupa goshim rupa manjuri is beautiful land that's no doubt aprakito aprakito joshi brajavasi sakshi manjuri okay but actually the seva sarup of rupa goshim path is very important even sanatan goswami path want to follow rupa goshim path we know sanatan goshim path is a guru of rupa goshim sanatan goshim path is a guru of rupa goshim path but still sanatan goshim path want to follow rupa goshim path i want to become and i want to follow rupa that is a special so we all gauriyas we want to develop that kind of seva sarup which is just equal to the beauty of one dust particle from the lotus feet of rupa goshim path we cannot say we can become rupa goshim path if we say we can if we say we can become rupa goshim path then we are mayavadi we cannot take the chair of rupa goshim path is not possible but we want to we want to develop such a beautiful sarup just like the beauty of one dust particle from the lotus feet of rupa goshim that we like to get and simon mahaprabhu wanted to wanted to keep the whole treasure rupa goshim avar simon mahaprabhu wanted to keep the whole treasure of you know this rupanu ka bhajan raganu ka bhajan all the intricate subject matter in the heart of rupa goshim bab mapo wanted to give all the property there inside the heart of rupa goshim bab so that the whole world can know all about it actually mapo wanted to give this teaching to rupa goshim bab at the bank of ganga in elahava at the bank of ganga elahabad mapu wanted to give this teaching suru pokushai pad there all different kind of very sophisticated things related to braja prem everything he wanted to keep with there with rupakushai pad they actually at the bank of ganga elahabad mahaprabhu wanted to teach him and our uh, what name that uh, ballab bhatta ballava charjo ballava charjo his house was that side of river i mean three confluence of river ganga jumuna saraswati confluence of three rivers but still that 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 side of that side of elahaba elahaba this side ganga this and that side of ganga there was the house of you know ballava charjo ballava charjo wanted to take goranga mahaprabhu in his house ballava charjo wanted to take shiman mahaprabhu in his house and that time rupa goshim path was there and with rup anupam anupam was there i think anupam was there both rupa goshim path and anupam is younger brother was there so they went that they went that side of river in arailgam in the house of ballava chari and there mahaprabhu wanted to expose the glories of rupa goshim path because ballava charjo having some false ego ballava charjo having some false ego he is from high family high family race big big pandit so when ballava charjo wanted to pay pranam to rupa goshim path sona rupa goshim path and uh, anupam 
Mahaprabhu speaking, they are from uh, low family. They are from low caste, so they cannot take your... Mahaprabhu wanted to test Balava Charju. Mahaprabhu wanted to test Balava Charju because Balava Charju have no idea who is Rupa Goswami Pada. Balava Charju have no idea who is Rupa Goswami meeting for the first time. Anyway, so there Mahaprabhu wanted to unveil the mystery of Rupa Goswami Pada. And Balava Charju speaking, this kind of humbleness, this kind of Tinadavi Bhav, this kind of Prema, this kind of no, I think they are from high family. I think you are joking with me. This way, Mahaprabhu wanted to make some joking there. Anyway, after that, Rupa Goswami Pad, Rupa Goswami Pad, after taking whole teachings from Siman Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu, while giving this Rasatatya, everything, because all Siti Shastra, Suti Shastra, all uh, different rules and regulations, Vaishnava Sriti. Mahaprabhu wanted to give Kipa to Sanatana Goswami Bhatt. Mahaprabhu wanted to give Kipa to Sanatana Goswami Bhatt to write one book, I mean Hari Bhakti Vila, Suti Sriti. Actually, Sanatana, Rup, Jiva Goswami Bhatt, they all were giving place to their eternal place, I mean, uh, Vrindavandam. Special seva given to them to discover all different lila places. To discover all different lila places. To discover all different lila places of Bhagavan Sri Krishna and to install deity and temple, everything and to write all uh, Sriti, Shruti, Hari Bhakti Vilas, Bhyad Bhagavatam, all Sanatana Goswami Rapad writing, Arubu Goswami Pad writing countless Grantha, like Logu Bhagavatam, Logu Bhagavatam, Rito, Paddhavali, so many, and uh, Rasamrita Bhakti, Rasamrita Sindhu, Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, everything Rubu Goswami Pad writing, especially Upadeshamrita I am discussing in Hindi, for a long time, there is all secrecy of Hari Bhajan. All secrecy of Hari Bhajan is there. All secrecy of Hari Bhajan is there in Upadesham Ritu. So, for a for long time I am discussing in Hindi, this Upadesham Ritu Grandho. We can get all in details, what to do, what not to do, everything. Right from the beginning, na? right from the beginning and the last sloka of Upadesha Amrita, how to utilize your time in Hari Bhajan, right from the beginning and up to end. End means how to utilize your time in Hari Bhajan, all the 24 hours. All the 24 hours, how you can utilize in your Hari Bhajan, Rupa Goswami Bhatt giving these teachings and Iti Upadesha Saram. That advice is the final advice. That advice is the final advice. All 24 are how to utilize in and in the Rupa Goswami Bhatt, our Sonatan Goswami Bhatt about them it is written in uh, Saragoswami Stakam, Sankha Purvaka Nama Gana Nati Bhi Kala Vasani Kito Nidrahara Vihara Kadi Vijito Chattanta Dino Chajo. The, all the 24 hours they used to utilize in Hari Bhajan. Sometimes writing, doing Sankirtan, and very humble way. They are leading their life very humble way, very poor. Sankha Nam and writing books, everything, almost whole night. It is written in Chaitanya Charitamitha, someday they are not sleeping. Someday they are doing Sankirtan for whole night and someday they are not sleeping. Whole day they are doing this way. Rupa Goswami used to stay 
they are near actually what what you call uh, radha damodar mandir you know radha radha damodar mandir that is the place of rupakoshipa he used to do bhajan there it was just near jamuna before now jamuna going back that time jamuna was more near to damodar mandir damodar radha damodar mandir there rupakoshipa used to do you know his bhajan there and Radha Damodar Temple was established. Radha Damodar Deity was established by Rupa Goswami, but then given to Jiva Goswami. Radha Damodar was installed by Rupa Goswami, but then given to given to Jiva Goswami. Actually, Radha Govinda Dev. Actually, Radha Govinda Dev manifests from Gomatila. Gomatila, you know. ये राधा गोविंद मंदिर यू नो मेन गोविंद मंदिर इन वृंदावन सिटी नियर रंगनाथम मंदिर रंगनाथम मंदिर वाज बिल्ट आ 200 हंड्रेड इयर्स थ्री हंड्रेड इयर्स बट रूप गोस्वी पर लॉन्ग है को नियर रंगनाथम मंदिर वन रेड रॉक टेम्पल यू हैव सीन रेड कलर रेड स्टोन दैट इज अरिजिनल टेम्पल ऑफ गोविंद जी दैट वॉज द ऑरिजिनल टेम्पल ऑफ गोविंद जी आफ्टर दैट इट वॉज ब्रोकन बाय सम मुस्लिम किंग ब्रोकन अपर पोर्शन बिकॉज इन द टॉप देयर वॉज देर वॉज बिग अमाउंट ऑफ घी घी यू नो प्रदीप लाइट घी अढ़ाई मोन आई मीन हंड्रेड अढ़ाई मोन मीन वन हंड्रेड एंड वन हंड्रेड एंड गिविंग मिल्क दे in a particular place automatically one kopila guy almost every day every day coming not almost every day coming and giving milk there in particular place rubugoshi pad was informed by one bhojavasi that one gomata coming surobi gomata giving milk there then the rubugoshi pad was very curious about it he wanted to find out what is the reason after that after that he could discover gobindu dev inside that mart at present this is called radha gobindu mandir red 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 stone gobindu mandir that is actually jogpit in in vindavan in vindavan that is actually jogpit vindavan actually so many jogpit jogpit men when radha gobind and all manjari sokhi men they get together and they are going to serve radha gobind that is special jogpit that particular spot where radha gobind mandir that is very special place that is called that is called actually jogpit mandir that is called actually jogpit mandir there rupa goshi baat discovered it it was discovered by rupa goshi baat i radha gobind temple radha gobind temple and uh, radha gobind temple was uh, constructed later the first of all the deity were discovered from that place rupa goshi baat discovered that place so rupa goshi baat used to do bhajan there and sonatan goshami pad while in at present we say bindavan city actually bindavan our conception is wrong vrindavan is up to nandagram kama this all vrindavan but at present our conception is wrong we think the city vrindavan is vrindavan we think the city vrindavan at present we think it is vrindavan not that as per bhagavatam it is written vrindavan is up to nandagram varshana you know 
Jav, Gao, Kamban, all Vrindavan. But at present we think of Vrindavan, city Vrindavan is Sindhavan, not that. Actually, Rupa Goswami Pad, Sanatana Goswami Pad, they used to travel all around, all around 84 crores. Rupa Goswami Pad, Sanatana Goswami Pad, they used to travel all around Vrindavan Dham all the time. Sometimes they used to stay some place for writing this, that, and later on, previously they used to travel all. Sanatana Goswami Pad, Rupa Goswami Pad, whole and uh, Brajamandal, they used to travel, especially Sanatana Goswami Pad. Rupa Goswami Pad also. So, when Rupa Goswami Pad was there in Vrindavan City, at present what is called Vrindavan City at the bank of Jamuna, that time he was there at the bank of Jamuna, it is Radha Damodha temple, there, where Jiva Goswami Pad started doing bhajan. Actually, he started doing bhajan there, Rupa Goswami, after coming in Vrindavan, by the order of Mahaprabhu, after coming in they started bhajan there. There actually, Balavacharya met them, someday. That time, Rasamrita Sindhu book, Rupa Goswami Pad was writing Rasamrita Sindhu book. One day, Balavacharya coming that place, coming there, and asking what book you are reading, were writing. Rupa Goswami was saying, I am writing uh, actually Rasamrita Sindhu. Okay, I can edit that book. Okay, I can edit that book. Balavachar just so popped up, speaking, okay, I can edit that book. Okay. And Jiva Goswami Baba by chance was there. So, Rupa Goswami said, it is my, I am very lucky that you can edit this book. Rupa Goswami Baba, never mind. But Jiva Goswami Baba become very angry. The words, by watching the audacity of Balavacharya. Balavacharya had no idea about who is Rupa Goswami Pad. Balavacharya has no idea about Rupa Goswami Pad. Actually, previously he used to do Bal Gopal Bhajan, Bal Gopal. Later on, by the mercy of Saman Mahaprabhu, he took mantra from Gadadhar Pandit. But their sampradaya is not uh, going to agree. Ballab sampradaya never agree this point. Ballab sampradaya never agree this point that Ballabhajajya took mantra from Gadadhar Pandit. They don't agree. They never agree. A very... They are margi pushti mark. They say they are margi pushti mark. Hello? So, Jiva Goswami Pad wanted to, wanted to establish the Siddhanta Vishar. Jiva Goswami Pad wanted to establish the Siddhanta Vishar, I mean to, uh, I mean to, I mean to show us how to protect the honor of Gurudev. When Balavacharya was going to Jamuna, Jamuna to take bath, then Jiva Goswami Pad also going behind, going. Jiva Goswami also going, taking permission to Rupa Goswami that there is no water, but drinking water so I can drink. That we, with this pretext, in this pretext, he is going there, behind. And ask him, is, excuse me, if you never mind, what kind of fault you have seen in the book of uh, Rupa Goswami my Gurudev, so, so that you told that you, you are very much interested to edit that book. After that one or two word exchange, after that, Balavaja just started argument, Jiva Goswami Pad giving answer. Finally, Balavaja just gone mad by watching the power of Jiva Goswami Pad. By watching the power of Jiva Goswami Pad, he gone mad. This small age, not big age, so great Pandit, this way, he wanted to protect the honor of he wanted to protect the honor of Guru Padma. It is zero good, right? Guru Padma making some mistakes, so Balavacharya can rectify. Jiva Goswami surely making some mistake. 
he is thinking so. So he wanted to rectify this. So Jiva Goswami wanted to protect the honor of Guru Pātpāt. But Rupa Goswami was very clever. When Ballavacharya coming back from Jamuna, asking who is that boy? Who is that boy? Who is, you know, a hand fan doing it? But what to say? He has taken mantra from me. Speaking nothing and gone. But Rupa Goswami could realize. Rupa Goswami could realize. Whenever Jiva Goswami was coming, Rupa Goswami was speaking, he wanted to rectify my book. He wanted to rectify, edit my book. What wrong in it? He could not bear this point. This kind of patience is not there in you. So you go away from here. You go away from here. You cannot stay with me. So Rupa Goswami Bhat, speaking, you go away from me. He is going away. Anyway, I am not going, going in details. details. That time, Jiva Goswami was crying and crying whole day and night. He is driven out by Guru Padma, is going away. And finally, he took shelter for some day there in Baigaon. Baldevji Maharaj, Rasasthali, you know. Rasasthali of Baldevji Maharaj, I went there many times, I stayed there. It is called Obegaon, Echad Auji. It is called Obegaon. At the bank of Jamuna, from there you have to go a long distance. Biharban, after that Tapaban, after that Akshayabhat, after that you can reach. So many things. First of all, after crossing the Rasa, Rasa Leela place of uh, uh, Baldaji Maharaj, you can reach Biharban. Biharban is two, three kind of Biharban. Another Biharban is their Ral. From Bindavan city, when you are going to Radhakund, Radhakund, I mean the way of Radha, there is two ways. One is through, through Ral, and another way is the highway, big way, that is going to Govardhan. One road from Bindavan going to Govardhan, that way big, big bus going there. Another road is there uh, through Ral's through Ral, it is going through Ral. There is also Bihar one. And what now I am speaking, it is Bihar one there, near the Rasasthali of Balaji Maharaj. From there, you will have to go to Bihar one, you have to go to, you have to go to Akshaybat. From Bihar one, you will have to go to Akshaybat. From Akshaybat, you have to go to Tapaban. From Tapavan, you can go to, go to there, Baigaon. There, Jibu Goswami Bhad, by the request of Brajavasis, Jibu Goswami stayed there. And Shata Sandarbha, he started writing there. By chance, Sonatan Goswami, in course of his, in course of his traveling through Vrindavan Dham, by chance, Jibu Goswami, uh, our Sonatan Goswami Bhad reached there, and all Brajavas is speaking, all Brajavas is speaking, some nice devotee coming here, some nice Baba is not eating anything all day and night crying. We are requesting him to take drink water, milk, matha, I mean yogurt, but not taking. Uh, who is, where? Let me see. After hearing the description, Sanatana Goswami could realize it must be Jeev. Let me see. When going to see, oh, is Jeev? What happened, Jeeva? He cannot speak, only brushed into tears, cannot speak anything. Finally, after hearing all in details, Sanatana Goswami speaking, you come with me. You come with me, call. Come with me. Then Sanatana Goswami taking, Jiva Goswami path and going in front of Rupa Goswami path. In front of Rupa Goswami path. Follow. And Sonatana Goswami path with a heavy mood speaking. Jiva Prem, you know Jiva Prem? To show mercy to Jiva. To show mercy to Jiva, 
this, this is Siddhanta Vichar, only can stay in book. This Siddhanta Vichar, this Siddhanta Vichar, Jive Daya. This Siddhanta Vichar, Jive Daya, can stay only there in book or in practical form. Rupa Goswami, what do you mean? Rupa Goswami is asking, what do you mean? I mean to say, Jivedaya, this word Siddhanta Vichar can stay there in book or can come in practical form, in applied form. What do you mean? I cannot understand. Then calling Jiv, come. What he has done? Why you drive him away? Then Jiva Goswami was crying, fall down onto the lotus feet of Rupa Goswami path. There was a very nice situation. Follow. This way, Rupa Goswami path accepted Jiva Goswami path there. Actually, Jiva Goswami path enjoying full kipa of Sanatana and Ru. Full kipa. When Jiva Goswami was small, that time he was taken in front of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, in Ramkeli Gram. Ramkeli Gram, North Bengal, near Malda. Their house, I mean, Ripa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami was their house. That time when Gauranga Mahaprabhu went to, when Gauranga Mahaprabhu in court's office, in court's office, in court's office, you know, Vrindavan Jatra, in course of his Vrindavan Jatta, why Mahaprabhu going to Ramkeligam, nobody knows. But Mahaprabhu speaking, nobody knows. I come here to meet with Rupa Sanat. That time, night time, 12 o'clock, 12.30, 1 o'clock, night. They are coming to meet with Suman Mahaprabhu. That time, Jiva Goswami Bhatt was very small boy, very small boy with them. Anyway, so, Rupa Goswami Path, Sanatana Goswami Path, they used to engage Jiva Goswami Path in editing their book. It is one kind of Leela. Rupa Goswami Path, Sanatana Goswami Path, their book, they used to give to Jiva Goswami Path for editing, final touch. For final touch, for editing, final touch, used to give. This is one kind of Leela. Don't think otherwise. This can prove the full kripa of Rup Sanatan. Because Sanatan Goswami Bhad, Rupa Goswami Bhad, their book, there cannot be any mistake. There cannot be any mistake. But still, Sanatan Goswami Bhad, Rupa Goswami Bhad, they used to give their book for final touch. And if Jiva Goswami Bhad giving final touch, that is also by the kripa of Sanatan Goswami, Rupa Goswami Bhad. Anyway, so, our Rupa Goswami used to stay there in Damodar Mandir. What do you call? What do you call? Damodar Mandir. But Rupa Goswami also used to stay there in Nanda Ground. Sanatana Goswami used to stay at the bank of Pavan Sarava. In Nanda Ground, there is the Bhajan Kutir of Sanatana Gosai. In Nandagram, there was the Bhajan Kutir of Sanatana Gosai. Nandagram, that is at the bank of, at the bank of Pavan Sarva. And Rupa Goswami used to do Bhajan at Terikadam. Terikadam, you heard the name? Terikadam. At the bank of Terikadam, Asheshwar Mahadev. Asheshwar Mahadev is there, right hand side. And there are two roads, Nandagram coming. One is Asasar Mother, one straight going to Terkadam. Terik Terkadam mean Terkadam mean that is a particular place where Bhagavan Sri Krishna used to play when he was very small boy. Very small boy, that time he used to play there. Jasodama never liked to allow Jasodama never liked to allow to Krishna to go with a small calf. But Krishna promised, I can play there, particularly this place. How I can know? I can give you, I can play on fruits, 
So from there, so you can understand that I am here nearby. Krishna promised mother that I can, time to time, and can, I can play on flutes. So you can realize that I am nearby. So no tension, nothing. This way, this way actually, he took, you know, our Rupa used to do bhajan there. There, that time. Night time, night time used to gather so dry leaf, dry leaf, you know, skin of trees and dry leaves and fire, winter time, winter time, set fire and it's like they used to write there. Rupa Goswami used to do bhajan here and Sonatan Goswami used to do bhajan there is at the bank of Pavan Sarovar. One day, Sanatana Goswami wanted to go and meet with Rupa Goswami Pad. Sanatana Goswami wanted to meet with Rupa Goswami Pad. Sanatana Goswami going to meet with Rupa Goswami Pad there. And Sanatana Goswami Pad going to meet with Rupa Goswami Pad. Rupa Pad thinking, my Gurudev coming. What kind of arrangement I can do? What kind of arrangement I can do? Gurudev coming. So I should arrange some special prasadam here, but no arrangement there. Only dry chapati, this, that, the Gurudev coming. So I like to arrange some special prasadam. Rupa Goswami wanted to make some paramanna. Paramanna, you know, sweet rice. But sweet rice, how I can make? Sweet rice, how I can make? There is no rice, no milk, nothing. I am only dry chapati there. In the meantime, Simati Radharani coming there in the form of very small girl. And small girl. With milk, rice, sugar, all everything. Simati Radharani coming and offering all items to Rupa Goswami And speaking, my mother, uh, my mother told me to give this item, all this item to you. Immediately. So all milk, rice, sugar, everything there. So, Rupa Goswami started making Paramanna. After making Paramanna, he offered to Giraj Maharaj everything, everything. Finally, finally what happens actually? Rupa Goswami Pad wanted to give this prasadam to Gurudev, Sanatana Goswami Pad. He wanted to give this prasadam to Sanatana Goswami Pad. Finally, what happened? After taking prasadam, Rupa Goswami Rupa Goswami Pad giving prasadam to him. But Sanatana Goswami, after taking prasadam, gone mad. I have taken Paramanna many times in my life. But this kind of Paramana in ever is one kind of excellent test. And some kipa he can feel. After taking prasadam, feel some like current going on, kipa. So Sanatana Goswami is asking Rupa Goswami, how you get this item? Because you have no arrangement here in your room, in your bhajan kuti. How you arrange it immediately when I come? Then Rupa Goswami was speaking, one small guy, small girl came and all gave this thing. Then Sanatana Goswami requested Rupa. From today onward, never, never try to express this kind of mood. From today onward, it is my request to you. From today onward, it is my request to you. From today onward, never try to express this kind of desire. Never try to. Because for you, Simati Radharani, Dayamai Radharani took trouble to bring all uh, sugar, milk, everything to you. So this kind of thing is not good. You should not do it. You are giving trouble to Radharani, Simati Radharani. Then they beg pardon. Both of them beg pardon immediately. Immediately. So, finally, actually, Rupa Goswami, actually, when our Sinaji, 
which was discovered by Madhavendra Puripad. Sinaji was discovered by Madhavendra Puripad. Sinaji was there in Govardhan. You know Govardhan? Govardhan there, Jyotipura. There, it, this big, first of all, they put there in the, there is one, you know, when you go to Govindu Kunda, if you go to Govindu Kunda, there you can find two temples. If you go to Go Govindu Kunda, Govindu Kunda is just at the bank of Giriraj Maharaj. There you can discover, you can find there two temples at the top of Giriraj. One is old temple, another is new temple. The old temple was inst installed by Madhavendra Puripat. And the second temple, Ballab Sampraday, they make second temple. But actually, Sinaji Maharaj was there up. Sinaji Maharaj was there up. But finally, it was long ago. At the time of, at the time of Madhavendra Puripat, it was there. After that, so many incidents happened. So many things, Madhavandhu Puripad gone, Ishwar Puripad also went to Vrindavan, okay. But finally, finally, that, you know, due to Muslim attack, the Sinaji Maharaj was, Sinaji, Sinat Gopal was taken to Mathura. Sinaji Maharaj, Sinaji Bhagavan was taken to Mathura for regular service. At the house of Bithal Nath. Bithal Nath, you know, is the son of Balava Sharjo. Bithal Nath is the son of Balava Sharjo. Actually, that time, Rupa Goswami Path, Raghunath Das Goswami Path, they took decision to give this seva to Bithal Nath. I mean, the son of Balava. They had purity, very nice purity. And by that time, they also developed uh, prema. Because Balava Sharjo previously, had some false ego. After treatment, after treatment received from Mahaprabhu in Purushot, after getting treatment in Purushottam Dham, you can remember, Mahaprabhu was very heavy there. After that, Ballava Charjo changing his mood, everything. At that time, Rupa Goshnipa, during Kartik Brato, almost every day, they used to go to Mathura to take darshan of, you know, Sinaji. They used to go to take their darshan of Sinaji there. Almost every day they used to go. Almost every day, actually, uh, our Sinaji, we Gauriyas, it is our seva. Actually, Sinaji Maharaj is seva, is our seva. But what to do? It was given, this seva was given to Bithalnath. Finally, from Bithalnath, Sinaji was taken to Gujarat, you know, Nathodwar, long distance. Long distance. Because due to Muslim attack, Sinaji Maharaj was taken long distance. From Giriraj Govardhan, he was taken to Gujarat, Nathodwar, long distance. Even from Jaipur, you will have to go whole night. From Jaipur Govinda Mandir, if you go whole night, bus journey, very super fast bus, then you can reach uh, Nathodwar in the morning time. There, he was taken. Anyway, now we are interested to discuss about some. Siddhanta Vichar of Srila Rupa Goswami Pad. In Rasamrita Sindhu, in Rasamrita Sindhu, we can get A to Z everything. In Rasamrita Sindhu, we can, go, we can get everything all from A to Z everything. Bhakti, Rasamrita Sindhu. It is actually ocean. Actually, Siman Mahaprabhu, in Allahabad, when speaking about Rasatatta, Mahaprabhu told to Rupa Goswami Pada, Rupa, Rupa, actually Krishna is the ocean, infinity ocean of Rasa. To Rupa Goswami Pada, Mahaprabhu told, 
Rupa, actually, Krishna is the infinity ocean of rasa. Krishna is the infinity ocean of rasa. But I like to, I wanted to give you one test. I wanted to give you one drop. I wanted to give you one drop of that rasa. So that you can feel how test it is. How tasty it is. So, Rasamrita Sindhu, Rupa Goswami Bhat, from A to Z, everything you can get in Rasamrita Sindhu. Especially, while writing Rasamrita Sindhu, Rupa Goswami Bhat, out of humble mood writing. Out of humble mood, Rupa Goswami Bhat writing, I am Baraka Rupa Opi, Pavartito Aham, Pavartito Aham. I am going to write this Rasatattva by the Kipa of that Saitanya Dev. I am Baraka, very Niskinchan. I am very humble. I am very humble. I am nothing actually. But still, by the mercy of that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, I am going to write this book, Rasamrita Sundir, which is really impractical for me. Which is really impractical because how I can write? Is the Asamrita Sindhu, is the ocean. Pavarti to aham, Pavarti to aham, Barakaru Popi. Pavarti to aham, Barakaru Popi. Tasho Charanakamanam Mande Chaitan Nadevasya. That Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, I am going to glorify his lotus feet. By his mercy, I am very humble, I am nothing, I am useless. But still, I am, by his order, I am going to take this kind of venture, to write this kind of special book, Rasamrita Sindhu. In Rasamrita Sindhu, Srila Rupa Goswami writing, about the glorification of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you know, about, you know, about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, exact definition, Rupa Goswami Pad writing for the reason for why Gorang Mahaprabhu coming here. And specially that the definition of bhakti, definition of Shuddha bhakti, definition of the Shuddha bhakti, Rupa Goswami Pad writing. What is the sloka? You know? Shuddha Bhakti. Anabhilasita Sunyam. Anabhilasita Sunyam Gyana Karmadi Anabritam. Anukulena Kishnana Silaram Bhakti Ruttama. Anabhilasita Sunyam Gyana Karmadi Anabritam. Rupa Goswami Pad writing this sloka. Rupa Goswami was specially writing about the Suddha Bhakti, what is called Suddha Bhakti. And that same Rupa Goswami was writing about when you, about your, about uh, the Mu, about the Baba, one, one uh, devotee, when he is going to get Rupanuga Bhakti, when some devotee is going to attain Rupanuga devotee, Rupanuga devotee, and uh, Rup Rupanuga Bhakti. In that case, Rupa Goswami was writing this definition also. Rupa Goswami was writing this. After getting this, I mean, Rupanuga Bhakti, you cannot express any desire, material desire. Material desire is not possible. After getting Rupanuga Bhakti, it is quite impossible. Rupa Goswami was writing that after getting this kind of, you know, Jadavadi Mama Mano Krishna Padara Vinde Navanava Rasa Dhyama Rantu Mahasit. Jadavadi, Rupa Goswami was writing, Jadavadi Mama Mano Krishna Padara Vinde Navanava Rasa Dhyama Rantu Mahasit. Jadavadi Bato Nari Sangame Smarja Mane. If somebody is going to get this kind of Rupanuga Bhakta, Bhakti, Rupanuga Bhajan, Rupanuga Bhakti, 
I mean tremendous love affair unto the lotus feet of Krishna, like Brajavasis. Especially, Rupanuga Bhajan is specially for Brajagopikas. So, in that case, it is impossible for any Rupakoshimba writing. The time from when, the time from when my mind started getting enjoyment from Krishna Bhajan, a new, new Rasa Tattva by serving Krishna. From then onward, if, you, if somebody uh, going to suggest me about material enjoyment, I spit on it. Rupakasana is speaking, if somebody uh, suggesting me for material enjoyment, man, woman, all enjoyment, material enjoyment, I spit on it and my face become very dirty. My face become very ugly after hearing. So this kind of test, Rupa Goswami writing, Jadavadi Mamo, the time from when I started realizing the taste of Krishna Charan by doing Krishna Bhajan, from then onward, if somebody going to suggest me about some material in your man, woman, different kind of enjoyment, then I, my face become very ugly and I spit on it. Rupa Goswami Bhadraji. Rupa Goswami Bhadraji. And Rupa Goswami was also writing, Honor Pitu Charing Chirat, Corona Abutirana Kalu, Samar Pet Unnito Unnato Jolara Sam Sabakti Sriam, Harihi, Purata Sundara Dudikadamba Sandibita, Shada Hidai Kandaris Purutuba Susi. Rupa Goswami was writing, Honor Pitu Charing Chirat. This kind of special disbursement, distribution of prema was not possible any time in the history of human being. Honor Pita Charim Chirato, which was never given in the creation of this human being. Honor Pita Charim Chirato, Karunaya Avatirunakalu, out of causeless mercy, that same Adhyayan Tattva, Krishna, coming in the, prob, in the form of Sri Krishna Chaitanya. So, Honor Pita Charim Chirato, Karunaya Avatirunakalu, Samar Payatu. Why? To give Samar Payatu Unnata Ujjala Rasam. Unnata Ujjala Rasam. Unnata Ujjala Rasam, you know, understand what do you mean by Unnata Ujjala Rasam? What do you mean by Unnata Ujjala Rasam? Material Rasa is material Rasa. By enjoying material Rasa, by enjoying material Rasa, anyhow, Directly or indirectly. Suppose you are with some group, they are enjoying material losses. You are in this group, you also. So by enjoying material losses, only you are going to contaminate your heart. Only you are going to contaminate your heart by enjoying material losses. And aprakita rasa, batito bhavana bharto, rupa kusnei road. Same, I am speaking all sloka Rupa Goswami. Rupa Goswami is speaking, Vatito Bhavana Varto Yas Chamatkar Bharabhu. Vatito Bhavana Varto Yas Chamatkar Bharabhu. Hridi Satya Jalevaram Saddhate Sarasa Mataha. This is the definition given by Rupa Goswami of Rasa Tattva. To be frank, without Rasa, infinity world, material world, or Aprakid world, Material Jagat, Aprakita Jagat. Aprakita Jagat, Aprakito. Jagat and material, anywhere, without Rasa, nobody likes to live. Rasa is the only support for which all Jivas, they like to live. Rasa is the only support for us. For why all Jivas like to live? Like to, like to live. They desire to live more. Because of rasa. So material people can get material rasa. Rasa is everywhere. So one boar, pig can take stool and urine. It is rasa for him. For that pig. For that boar to take stool and urine is rasa. Those who are tribal people, they are killing snack. Taking snack and cutting the head and eating. 
roasting in the fire immediately. They are catching one snake, cutting this this portion poison. After that, they are uh, putting in the iron stick and putting in the fire. Then kiss it. Yes, they are taking rasa. Tiger taking getting rasa. Tiger also taking rasa, na? A blood, new new blood. Tiger eating, na? All flesh and blood. Mosquito also getting rasa, new new blood. If you like to kill that mosquito, this way mosquito can fly. We like to live more. Yes, mosquito like to live more to get new new rasa. So what to speak? All jiva, infinity jiva, infinity jiva, infinity jiva. They all like to get some or other kind of rasa. Somebody speaking. That man committed so suicide, Maharaj. Then uh, why you say that he is enjoying rasa? I say you, you don't understand. That man, that man committed suicide because he wanted to get some special rasa, could not get. So he thought my life is useless. He wanted to marry one girl, that it was not possible for him to marry that girl. Uh, so you wanted to make suicide. So the original reason is that rasa. Original reason you com he wanted to commit suicide because he wanted to get some special rasa. He could not get. So he thought his life is useless. So everybody anyway, directly, indirectly, all demigods, all you know, Gandharva, Kinnara, demons, demons, demigods, all everybody. All jivas, they are infinity world. They all like to get rasa, some or other. But that rasa is material rasa. By, enjo by enjoying material rasa, you can contaminate your heart, you can go to hell for a long time. But definition of aprakita rasa, definition of, apra definition of aprakita rasa given by Rupa Goswami Vatito bhavana varto, just chamatkar bharabhu. What do you mean by vatito bhavana varto? Crossing over, try to understand. Crossing over the range of your material thinking. Crossing over the range of your material thinking. Crossing over the range of your material thinking. Eh? You will have to reach up to such a level where your heart can get illuminated by light. What kind of light? Bright light. Satojal. You have Satogun, I know. If you have no Satogun, then why you are coming to me? Surely you have Satogun, I know. But 100% Satogun is not there. You have Satogun in you, so you are coming to me. Otherwise not possible. If Tamagun there, why you can come to me? I know you have Satagun, but Satagun, 100% Satagun is not there. Your Satagun is admixture. Have some Rajagun and Tamagun. Maybe 50% uh, Satagun you have, 30% you have a Rajagun, a 20% Tamagun. Mixing. Now you are doing bhajan and try to cross over this limit. Now you are doing bhajan, you are trying to cross over the limit of this material influence of three modes of nature. You want to go out of the three modes of influence of the three modes of nature. If you are successful someday, I mean Shataraja Tama, all. I already told in uh, Upadeshamrito. And that day I was speaking, na? In this. Eh? Even you will have to defeat Sata by Sata. You will have to defeat Sata by Sata. Like if you like to cut one iron bar, you will have to take help of one iron saw cutter. So iron can cut iron. Iron can cut iron. No other way. Similarly, you will have to cut your Satogun, two types of Satogun. One is one is pure satogun, one is 
impure satguru one is which can give you bumper success bumper success this satguru to do dharma this that ah, i like to lead peaceful life this can give you bumper success in this life this satguru is not pure satguru that is called impure satguru it is mixed with rajaguna and tamaguna but when you can go out of the range of this satraj tamagun then you can get special satagun which is called pure satagun pure satagun mean pure satagun mean there is no rajagun and tamagun shuddha sada what is called what is called shuddha sato what is called shuddha sato pure satagun that satagun can help you to do bhajan and get the taste of rasa while you are within the range of satraj tama you cannot get that test aprakita rasa maybe you are developing your satagun maybe 80% maybe 90% but still 10% is contamination there so you cannot get 90% over 95% 5% there maybe 4% rajagun or 1% tamagun still that Still, that in that case you cannot get entry into aprakiti jaga. Still, then maybe ninety five percent you are successful, but five percent contamination. That was the reason for why Naraji Maharaj was refused by Bhagwan Sri Krishna. In previous life, Shadam Siddha Narad, small boy Narad, when wanted to see Bhagwan, Bhagwan 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 came and he got darshan for fraction of second. Bhagwan taking you don't cry. In this life you cannot get my darshan because still you have impurity. Still you have impurity. You cannot get my darshan. Bhagwan, in aerial voice, the small boy crying due to satsanga. The small boy not crying. Mother gone from this material world. Small boy, and now at the bank of one lake, water lake, sitting. after taking bath and drinking water taking rest and thinking about all the teachings thinking about all the all those teachings got from the sadhu guru a chaturmasa chaturmasa bhagwat ji mahaprabhu is written narji ma speaking to basa deva in during four chaturmasa one group of sadhu why they came and they they started doing kirtan and harikatha as a small boy I was very much interested to hear so that is a reason for why he is now very much interested to do hari bhajan but still today he has no guru he has not accepted guru only satsang he got satsang he got but not guru but i already told that only by satsang satsang has some influence bhagwan speaking only by satsang all the procedures only by satsanga from your first of all when you can start your bhajan first of all self in self inquiry can come self inquiry can come after that you can approach one sadhu he can after that you can search for one dikha guru he can take diksha after gurudev gone or gurudev in present after taking permission from gurudev you can accept one sikha guru or gurudev is its gurudev himself acting as sikha guru in my life or sikha guru dikha guru hari naam guru base guru all same gurudev but sometime you left except gurudev anyway so this all are the procedure adu shadya tatah sadhu sango ato bhajan kriya tato anatha nibrit sat nishta ruchi tatah atha shakti tato bhavah all procedure all procedure you can cut if some exceptional sadhu sangha you are getting in your life don't understand all this gradual procedure of bhajan you can cross if some abnormal exceptional sadhu sangha you get only by sadhu sangha i told you no that day only by sadhu sangha they all bhagwan sri krishna speaking all they got my lotus feet only by satsang all day 
God. This is exceptional case. This is not general case. Exceptional case. This is exceptional case. Bishop Baba Boli Ravana Mayas Chata Bibi Shanaha Sugriva Honiman Riksho Gajo Girdha Vanaka Banika Pataha Bahabo Matpadam Pratya Trashta Kaya Dhaba De Yuhu Bishop Baba Boli Ravana Mayas Chata Bibi Shanaha Sugriva Honiman Riksho Gajo Girdha Vanika Pataha Bhagavan Sikh is not speaking. I already discussed in Purushottam Brotha. All they got my lotus feet only by satsanga. Bhagavan Sri is satsanga exceptional. But this satsanga is not available all the time. Rare. Bhagavan Sri is not giving evidence. Only by satsanga they'll, they reach my lotus feet. They got my lotus feet. No, they never approach any guru. They never got, uh, you know, guru Sheva, Vaishnava Sheva. No, they never, you know, fasting, upavasadi. Nothing. Only by satsanga they get me. Abnormal satsanga. This kind of satsanga everybody cannot get. This kind of satsanga. Bali Maharaj, by whom he was it? Bali Maharaj, if I speak to you, ask you, who is the guru of Bali Maharaj? Why we, why we can accept Bali Maharaj? Why we can accept Bali Maharaj as a Bhagavad Dharma Acharya, out of twelve Mahajan. Eh? Swayangbhur Narado Sambhu, Naya Swayangbhur Narado Sambhu, Kumara Kapula Manu, Prahlad Vishma Janako Vishma Valir Vayasakir Vayam, Dada Saita Vijanimo, Dharmam Bhagavatam Bhadya, Guyam Vishuddham Durvadyam Jadgyatam Ritam Asnude. If I ask you, why we can accept Bali Maharaj as our Guru? Why? Who is Guru? He is in Parampara? This question is absurd. Abnormal Kipa, Parlad Maharaj. Bali Maharaj received abnormal Kipa, Parlad Maharaj. Bali Maharaj eh, received abnormal Kipa from Parlad Maharaj. That is the reason for why he was the only man. On the head of Bali Maharaj, Baman Dev going to put head, put leg. Who else? You saw me? Who else? Bhagavan going to keep his leg on head? Even Pralatma or not? Pralatma is giving hand. Pralatma speaking, nobody enjoying this kipa. You are putting your uh, lotus hand on me, not leg. But Bali Maharaj getting the leg. Baman Dev going to put leg. So if I ask you, how possible Maharaj? Why we can accept Bali Maharaj as the Acharya? Nine folds of Bhakti. Nine folds of Bhakti. So use a Bali Maharaj, we can accept him. That out of twelve, twelve Mahajan, Sarmatma Nivedan is going to we going to submit himself absolutely. Bali Maharaj going to submit absolutely unto the lotus feet of Bamanji. Nothing left there. When Bali Maharaj going to submit unto the lotus feet of Bamanji, he was left not even with one penny. Nothing. Even his own body is not his own. Bindavali, the wife of Bali Maharaj, suggest me. When Bhamande is speaking, you promise me to give, give me three steps of food, three footsteps of land. But by one footstep I take everything, second footstep, third, I have no place. You promise me to give three footsteps of land. But one, by one foot everything Bhagavan taken. But third foot, third footstep where you can give. Then Bindavali is suggesting, Prabhu, you offer Bhamande Bhagavan your head. Where I can put my third leg? No place. Bhamande become showing angry at me. Where is the where is the place to keep my third leg? Then Bhamande speaking, Prabhu, you keep your leg on my head. Hold on. So you see the mood of 
you see the mood of Bali Maharaj. You see the mood of Bali Maharaj. Even Gurudev is going to give warning. Gurudev speaking. Don't give is, is Vishnu. Don't give. But still, he is speaking. I thought he is ordinary Brahman. So I, I was ready to give. Now you inform me he is Vishnu. Then I can give everything to him. I thought he is ordinary Brahman. So I wanted to give something to him. But now you inform me he is Vishnu. So I can give 100% to him. Follow, see, see. So now you understand, I wanted to explain that, you know, that what sloka? What sloka, Rupa Goswami Bhada, I wanted to give? You forget. Anair Pita Charing Chirata Karunayavatirana Kalo Samarpatu Unnato Jalarasa. I mean, I wanted to explain rasa. I was explaining the definition of rasa under the guidance of Rupa Goswami Bhada. So, after crossing over the limit of your mental power, when you can cross over, you can step into that aprakita area. I told you, na, 90%, 95% you are but is contamination. So, Bhagavan already told to Naraji Maharaj, small Naraji Maharaj, small boy, previous life, Durdasya aham ku yoginam, abhipakka kasayanam, abhipakka kasayanam durdasya aham ku yoginam. Abhipakka means immature heart. Your heart is now still today immature. There is contamination. Abhipakka kasayanam, abhipakka means not mature. By the help of bhajan, you should get maturity. Maturity means you can go out of Shataraja Tamagun fast. So, Abhipakka Kasayanam Durdasya Aham Kujoginam. You cannot get my darshan because still today impurity there. So, what Rupa Goswami wanted to say, Bhatito Bhavana Bhattu, by crossing over the limit of your mental thinking power. You can reach up to that level when your heart can get illuminated by Shattva Ujjal, Shattva Gun, bright Shattva Gun. Your heart becomes full of no Rajatama Gun, only pure Shuddha Shattva, bright. And that in that case, bright Shattva Gun, when can appear, you can get some test. That is called Rasa. When whole heart can get illuminated, bright, Brightness coming out of Satogun pure, then there is no contamination. In that case, you can get some taste. That is called rasa. So, Rupa Goswami Bhavad writing, Vaitito Bhavana Vatmo, Yas Chamatkar Bharbhu, Hridi Satya Jalevaram, Shaddati Sarasa Mataha. What kind of taste that time you are getting? That is called rasa. So, without rasa, no. So, Mahaprabhu coming here, Rupa Goswami Bhavad writing, Anarpita Charing Chirat, that is the exact, that is the, that is the topmost definition. That is the exact definition, topmost definition. Nobody can explain this way. Anarpita Charing, Anarpita Charing Chirat, Karunayavatir Nakalo, Samarpata Unnata Ujjala Rasa. So Unnata Ujjala Rasa. And Unnata Ujjala Rasa is only available there inside Vrindavan, with Simati Radharani and all Bhajagopikas, nowhere else. Unnato Rajal Rasa mean only Rasa available with Radharani and Bhajagopikas. That is called Unnato Ujjal Rasa. I mean, you, you, can, you can remember the discussion took place between Raghupati Obadhyay. When Mahaprabhu went, when Mahaprabhu went to Allahabad, that side of Elihabad, I mean Arail Gram, village, Arail village, at the house of Balavasharjo. There one Brahman came, he was the disciple of Madhavandi Prabhupada. Mahaprabhu knowing everything. Mahaprabhu saying, I like to hear some, I like to hear some, uh, some Tata Siddhanta from you. I like to hear from you something. Then he started speaking. Hello. He started speaking. 
and there he told Addo Yeva Parvara Saha. Bayo Koishrakam Deyam. Shyam Eva Param Rupam. Mahaprabhu wanted to hear from Trihatta Pandit. I mean that uh, Raghupati Upadhyay. I like to hear something. Raghupati Vidya started speaking. Shyam Eva Param Rupam. Bara Mathapuri Bara. Sam Ayava Param Rupa. Bara Mathuburi Bara. Bara Mathu Madhupuri is the topmost Puri. Bara Mathuburi Bara. Sam Ayava Param Rupa. Bayo Kaisharakam Dhyam. Adolescent age. We like to worship Krishna of 16 years. And Rasa? About Rasa? About Rasa? Mahapu asking. And Raghupati Bhadi is speaking. Adya Eva Pararsha. Atmane unnato ujjal rasa. That is called unnato ujjal rasa. That is why Kartik Brata, we say, we say, Kartik Brata, we can say Kartik Brata, we can say Niyam Shava Brata, we can say, you know, Ujjya, Ujjya Brata, we can say Ujjya Brata, because Ujjya Shari Radharani. Kartik Brata was name, another name of Kartik Brata was Ujjabrata. Ujjabrata means Ujjashwari Radha. Damodar Brata, so many names. Damodar Brata, Kartik Brata, Niyam Shama Brata, Ujjabrata, so many names. So, now, this is called the definition of a Prakita Rasa given by Rupa Kushnipad. And about Bhakti, I already told, Anna Vilasita Sunyam Gyanu Karamadi Anabritam this kind of definition is rare. You can search countless books. You can search countless books. This definition is not possible. A rare definition, this kind of definition. Only Rupa Goswami. So scientific way. On Nabila Sita Sunyam, Gyanu Karmadi Anabritam, Anukulli no Kishnanu Silam Bhakti Uttava. So, first of all, I cannot explain only in detail, so many things are there. Annabilasa Sundam, no, no contamination should be there. No smell of desire. No smell of desire should be there. Annabilasa Sundam. Gyan Karma, Anabritam, uncovered, uncovered by Gyan Karma. Because if Gyan Karma is favorable for Bhakti, that we can accept. If Gyan and Karma, when in favor of Bhakti, that we can accept. What is not in favor of Bhakti, that we can that is That is why Rupa Krishna is speaking, Annabila Sita Sunyam. Gyan Karmadi Sunyam, not speaking. Rupa Krishna not speaking, Annabila Sita Sunyam, Gyan Karmadi Sunyam, not speaking. Annabila Sita Sunyam, and Gyan Karmadi Anabritam, uncovered. I mean, if Gyan Karma in favor of Bhakti, that we can accept. If not in view, you cannot understand. Then, when I can explain that, how we can say, Priya Sarupe, Daita Sarupe, Prema Sarupe, Sahajabi Rupe, eh? Nijan Rupe, Pabureko Rupe, Tatan Rupe, Sabilas Rupe. I can give one example and I can finish today. And, uh, when Rupa Goswami was there in Purushottam Dham, when Rupa Goswami was there in Purushottam Dham, Nilachal Dham, at the Bhajan Kutir of Haridas Thakur, that was the Rathayatra period. And during Rathayatra period, Mahaprabhu dancing in front of Jagannath and singing one sloka, singing one sloka. Nobody knows why Mahaprabhu is speaking this. Only Sarup Gosai and Rupa Goswami could understand. And Saruku is accordingly singing song and Mahaprabhu dancing. Finally, I am cutting, I am going to this and speak in gist. Rupa Goswami finally going to write the Bhava of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Rupa Goswami wanted to write the Bhava, that time Bhava, wanted to write in one plum leaf and putting in the Urup, you know, gapping. And Mahaprabhu by chance coming there, 
to, to give darshan to Haridas. Every day Mahaprabhu coming. It was the rule. After Jagannath, Mahaprabhu every day coming to Haridas. He is Namacharya, na? topmost keeper. <laughs> so, when coming, suddenly Mahaprabhu look up and find one plum leaf there, something written. He get up. This is so nice handwriting. And what is written? Oh! After reading, Mahaprabhu gone mad. So happy. Priyo Swayam Sahachari Kurukhetta Milito Shaham Radha Tadidam Sangam Sukham Tathapi Antaha Kelat Mamo Madura Murali Pranchama Yushe This sloka. Mahaprabhu just gone mad. Mahaprabhu speaking, how he realized this? How he realized my heart? Sarub, how he realized my heart? He is going to transcribe my heart. Exactly what I am. Sarub speaking, so we know. He understands all your heart. That's why we know your full kippa is there with Rupa. That is why we know. Your full kippa is there with Rupa. That's why he can realize your heart. That mean, the heart of Mahaprabhu, Siman Mahaprabhu is just matching with Rupa Krishna. Mani, what I mean to say, after Gauranga Mahaprabhu gone, after Gauranga Mahaprabhu gone, if any second person is there, who can give us all Rasatattva, that is called Rupa Krishna. But one thing we must confess, Originally, it was kept with Sarup Gosai. Sarup Gosai is the second Sarup of Mahaprabhu. Whatever it is written, in Chaitanya Chaitanya, whatever, everything. But about Rupa Goswami, but we can speak safely that he enjoyed the kipa of Sarup Gosai. He enjoyed full kipa of Mahaprabhu because he, before coming to Purushottam Dham, before coming to Purush Rupa Goswami Bhad, Rupa Goswami Bhad, before coming to Purushottam Dham, he already received a kipa, full kipa of Mahaprabhu. But still, to give full honor to Sarup Gosai, it is written, Jeva Kichu Jane, about Rasatattva, whoever uh, knowing anything, all from Sarup Gosai. Anyway, Mahaprabhu, because Mahaprabhu is going to make him the whole in charge, whole in charge of Gauriya Sampradaya. Sarugosai is the whole in charge. Who is responsible? Is the only Sarugosai was given a total in charge. Total in charge of whole Saraswat Gauriya Vaishnava Samaj. So you should be given this honor because whole day and night Sarugosai used to give a consolation to Mahaprabhu Radha, Radha Bab. Separation from Krishna. When Mahaprabhu, 12 years, continuously 12 years, Mahaprabhu stayed there in Gambira Mandir, whole day and night crying and expressing different kind of painful Baba. Baba of Radharani is with Radha. All the time, Ma, Sarup Gosai was like shadow. Sarup Gosai was like shadow. Whenever, whatever situation there be with Mahaprabhu, Sarup Gosai know everything and going to sing song. All. That's why Sarup Gosai should be given, must be given. And it is 100% right. Sarup Gosai having 100% knowledge of all Rasatata because he was given by Mahaprabhu directly. He was like shadow. All the last 12 years, all the last 12 years solitary bhajan is in the solitary castle of Gamira Mandir, Sarugosai like shadow. Rairamanu Sarugosai. So they are having full. So, why Rupa Goswami Pad is you know, about Rupa Goswami Pad? This Priyo Sarupe, Daita Sarupe, Prema Sarupe, Sahajavi Rupe, Nijanu Rupe, Pabureko Rupe, Tatan Rupe, Savilasu. It is just fitting for Rupa Goswami Pad. For nobody else, for Rupa Goswami Bhad. So with this I like to stop here anyway. I couldn't speak anything, I wanted to speak so many secret tata. But time is limited anyway.
कृष्णोत्कीर्तन गान नर्तनो कला पथो जनी भ्राजिता सदभक्त बलि हंस चक्र मधुपो सैनी विहारास्पदम कर्णानंदी कल धनिर्वह तुमे युवा मरु प्रांगणे श्री चैतन्य दयानिधे तबल साध लीला सुधा स्वर्धुनी 